Hi everyone, I'm Shalaka Pawar and you are watching The True Gourmet. Hope you guys are really doing well. Today I've come up with a recipe that you can eat as an evening snack. It's absolutely tasty and I love it. Well, it's of course a sandwich, but not a regular sandwich. It's chili cheese corn sandwich. Yes, you heard me right. Let's get started with one of my favorite sandwiches, chili cheese corn sandwich. Now to start with our corn sandwich, the first thing that we're going to put in our pan is some butter. Now once the butter is melted, I'm going to add some finely chopped garlic. We just need to sweat our garlic a little bit. We don't need to brown it as such. Now once the garlic sweats out a little, I'm going to add in a bit of onion. This is optional, but onion will give a nice flavor, a bit of sweetness, a bit of crunch. Just make sure that you don't brown the onions just like garlic we just want to sweat these onions as well. Now as soon as I see my onions sweating a bit I'm going to add in some green chilies. Of course this is optional if you don't want it to be spicy at all just don't add any green chilies you want more spice you add more green chilies. I add very little because sandwich is not supposed to be technically spicy. Now that I've sorted all of these I'm going to boil corn in this. There's a nice sizzle once you add corn. And with corn, I'm going to add in some salt. Now depends if you've added salt while boiling the corn, you add less salt. Otherwise, you add as per your taste and then you also add pepper. Now I'm going to add a lot of pepper powder because this is another prominent taste that goes really well with corn. So butter, pepper, garlic. That's it. You know you'll be set. Now I'm just going to saute this for a few seconds and then let it cool for almost 10 to 15 minutes before I make my sandwich. To be honest, it's okay even if you don't make a sandwich. This mixture tastes good as is. Just take a spoon and start eating it. It's going to be amazing. Now once my corn mixture is cooled completely, I'm just going to add in some coriander. This will give a nice burst of freshness to our mixture. Now I have some bread slices here and I've just applied some butter on them. Like I said, we need to put a lot of butter with corn. It's magic and I'm just going to put my mixture on this bread piece. Now as you can see, I've applied my corn mixture on my bread, just one side of the bread, not the other side. Now you can apply a little bit on every bread and make an open sandwich if you want but I want to I like it when I put lots of mixture on one bread and make like a close sandwich it's easier to eat one last bit that I'm going to do is add a cheese slice to this cheese is optional but it kind of helps because what it's going to do is it's also going to secure my sandwich really well and my corn will not get out of my sandwich when I'm heating it so I'm just going to put this cheese slice I'm going to put the bread on top of this and then we come back to our pan where I've added a little more butter because I want some nice browning at the uh, outer side of my bread as well. And I'm going to put my sandwich on this pan. There you go. My sandwich is now on this pan. I'm going to toast it from both the sides. If you have a sandwich maker, you can toast it in it. Otherwise, the same pan in which you made your corn, that's also okay. So I'm going to toast it on both the sides and show you how it looks like. Look how beautiful the sandwich has turned up. It's nice, crisp and golden from the outside. If you look at it from the inside, the cheese has melted a little bit. There's corn that you can see in this sandwich. You can just eat it as is. If you want, you can just cut this sandwich into halves like these and enjoy. This is going to be one of the easiest but really tasty sandwiches that you'll have. I really hope you try this recipe at home and let me know in the comment section how it was. I'll see you guys in the next episode of True Gourmet. Till then, bye-bye.